Hey there guys, it's your boy Chris here back, the Weird Tech Guy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a vid IQ SEO score of 100% on your videos. And chances are, you're already using the vid IQ uh, SEO tool and you're trying to get that 100%, right? It's like that last variable, you're like, what the heck, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to my channel and look at one of my videos. So let's look at this one. This one says YouTube Video SEO. Let's click on this one. And chances are so you're, you already have the vidIQ Chrome extension installed and you can see all of the data here on the right hand side that tells us uh, your vidIQ SEO score, right? And I gotta tell you guys, uh, I want to give I want to give a caveat here because um, some of you don't know this, but I have eight YouTube channels and they're all monetized and I concentrate uh, on SEO for all the channels, like 90% of the traffic comes from SEO ranked videos. And I love vidIQ. I love it to death. And I have so many videos on how to use vidIQ. But what I'm trying to tell you guys here is this optimization for SEO, the checklist isn't like a, it's not an end all be all because a lot of this stuff doesn't really matter when it comes to ranking on YouTube or like getting that vidIQ SEO score of 100%, it's not necessary. And uh, I know that you came here looking for the tutorial on how to like get 100% on this. Um, for instance, uh, you know, because I, I've been doing this for so long and uh, I have so many videos, I have thousands of videos that are ranking and just earning money nonstop. And I will say that I'm going to tell you that the vidIQ SEO score 100% isn't a huge deal. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you what, what variables that you need to concentrate on. So the title of your video is crucial. Obviously, the tags, um, if you've been paying attention, uh, tags don't matter for SEO, for ranking YouTube videos. So tags don't even matter. And if you want to research this, go right ahead. I have years of experience doing this. It's been like a couple of years now where I've actually, this is crazy. I've actually found better success ranking my YouTube videos, not having any tags whatsoever. So, and again, Hit me up in the comments, argue me, do your research. Uh, it is what it is. Description is huge. Uh, I would say fi fill as many words in the description as you can. Cards, the cards have no, uh, that has zero SEO score, like indicators whatsoever. Like the cards do not matter. I don't put any cards in any of my videos. Um, what else is in here? Uh, high resolution thumbnail, that's important no matter what. Closed captions, manual. I just use the YouTube captions. Like it's not a big deal. It's usually pretty good. And I have great success not touching captions whatsoever, guys. And what else is here? Uh, replied to a recent comment that has no like relevation or connection to ranking your videos as far as like an SEO score. So we're at like a 50% of like of these being important so far. Shared on Facebook, not important whatsoever monetization enabled this uh there has been some tests shown that um this does help seo if you if your channel's monetized it does it's it's just like a tiny boost though i wouldn't say it matters you should have it monetized anyways though like because everyone cares about money that's kind of like why we do a lot of this right it's money derived added to a playlist this is debatable uh the video is public obviously it has to be public a pinned comment that has nothing to do with the SEO of your video. Now, I'm going to cut this. Uh, if you're trying to get a, vi if you're obsessing about getting that 100% SEO score on vidIQ, you're concentrating on the wrong thing. So what you need to concentrate on is find find the right keyword for your video. Make sure your video has a good retention and, and that it helps solve the issue. Because a lot of these SEO keyword videos, you know, they, they're solving an issue because people are searching for stuff. Make sure you have a good video, good retention, good watch time. Because what the algorithm does is it, it, it figures out over like a six month span who has the best of all those features and uh, title relevancy, like how relevant is your topic to the search and the retention and the watch time. And click-through rate is huge because you got to have a good thumbnail. The fact that they don't have click-through rate on this as far as like the SEO score being like the checklist blows me away. So, and again, um, I didn't even use tags, which is crazy. I don't even use tags. So if this helps you, uh, so if you're obsessing about this, guys, 
please consider not because it's not that important. And once you get a little better with this, like this, this is a help guide. These tools help as like a, the general mass of people, but this isn't an end all be all. So please stop obsessing on how to get that vidIQ SEO score of 100%. And please consider subscribing. If you guys want to check out my courses, um, I'll also throw, I'll throw all links in the description, the vidIQ affiliate link. If you're interested in that, or, um, my courses, a link to my website for my video uh, creator tools, uh, courses and stuff, please consider subscribing because I, uh, that's why I do these videos to kind of help other video creators and marketers. So please, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. How to get a vidIQ SEO score of 100%. Ah.